Our second heat, the gate is underway. Number 14, Kevin Windham taking the lead out of the first corner. Number 111 is Todd the Hoop. The old veteran who also has an arena cross championship under his belt, but he lost time in that turn, taking over is John Dowd. Right behind him is Jeremy McGrath. You see number one on the plate. Once again, Jeremy so clever, working his way through, picking the right lines. Already passed Dowd into second. He went around the first corner at about seventh or eighth, looked like. Kevin Windham is not gonna like what he sees after he makes this right-hander. Jeremy McGrath in second place. John Dowd in third is getting a test from uh, Tim Ferry. As the first lap is completed now. Look how early Jeremy gets on the power out of that corner. There's Dowd and Ferry. Dowd number 16, Ferry number 15 from the Chaparral Yamaha group. Ferry has looked very smooth and he takes John Dowd. They collide. He bounces off. Dowd goes down, but Ferry still in third. Now they're both looking for that good line. That's unfortunate for John. I don't think Ferry meant to do that. He got clobbered. He could have gone down himself. Take another look at Ferry. He was just aiming for that inside, and John Dowd was doubling those jumps coming into the corner. I don't think Ferry realized he was going to do that, or he'd have left him a little more room. There it is from another angle. You can see how close it got. Kevin Wyndham has Jeremy McGrath behind him, but the number 14 team Honda, who's been so fast in qualifying this year, but has had trouble in the main events. As Jeremy McGrath breathing down his neck. That's the problem. As soon as you get the best rider breathing down your neck and you gotta rewind that tape and think of how many times in the past you've been in that situation he's passed you, it doesn't give you a lot of confidence. You start riding defensive, you start worrying, the crowd gets into it, you get more nervous. There's a lot of pressure on Kevin. He's been in the 250 class enough time now that he knows he should be able to win this championship, win races. Whoa, going down, Jeremy McGrath giving a break to Kevin Windham. Jeremy just slipping out, it looked like, on the turn. And there goes his teammate, Tim Ferry. And Carmichael has just moved in right behind these guys. Remember the top four get the transfer to the main event in the best gate positions. Here comes Jeremy on the inside. Tim Ferry, though, riding very well. McGrath back into second place with Kevin Windham with a big lead, about an 8.4 second lead. Well, this could be Jeremy's first loss in the heat race this year. He comes up a little bit short right there. That wasn't the problem, but he started to make his corner before the bike was even settled. And that's just how far ahead that guy thinks. I remember talking to Larry Brooks one time, driving with Jeremy. Jeremy's in the passenger seat trying to get Larry, look out, what, we look, watch out for that. And Larry's like, what are you looking at? And Jeremy pointed way up the road. This guy looks way ahead, thinks a little bit quicker than most guys. And right there, it caught him off guard. Look at that, RC, Ricky Carmichael is starting to make a move on Jim Ferry now. He'd love to get that third position, but wants to be careful. Michael Craig is on the bubble in fifth, as you see on the uh, score sheet. Carmichael. Trying to get into strike position on Tim Ferry. To the inside, Carmichael. Ferry accelerates. Carmichael wide. Look out for the lapper. Carmichael had to come to the inside, and he makes the pass on Tim Ferry. Carmichael now will take on Jeremy McGrath. Wouldn't that be interesting? We'll be right back with more exciting action from Indianapolis in a moment. Welcome back as Toyota presents EA Sports Supercross from the RCA Dome in Indianapolis. Wyndham is our leader, but the battle for second is on as Ricky Carmichael, number four, from Team Kawasaki is trying to make a move on second place Jeremy McGrath of the Mazda Chaparral Yamaha team. This is a great time to try to attack Jeremy, having not felt very well this week, still not feeling very well. Carmichael has an opportunity right here to maybe catch him a little bit off guard. He has come from behind to catch him, but Jeremy made a mistake. That kind of helped. He picked up six tenths of a second on that last lap. Top three guys right now running 54 second lap times. That's the same we saw from Villeman in the first heat. 
Robbie Raiders back on the track for the first time this year. He must be thinking, man, has the pace gotten fast since I stayed off. <laughs> Jeremy McGrath cutting to the inside. He's got second place pretty well secure right now. As the blue flags waving for him. This is where Jeremy's good. Watch him jump out of this corner. He jumps all the way up over that whoop section, lands down at the bottom, carries the front wheel to the top, over the next jump. You see Carmichael back there having to hit more, more trash, more bumps, more jumps. It slows him down. Jeremy inches away a little bit more. So Jeremy, despite the fact that he was sick with the flu this week, has recovered well here for the qualifying heat as we take another look at our leader, number 14, Kevin Windham. Windham's been kind of a mystery this year, David. He was uh, looked on as a top contender before the season started. Now he's 30 point, 35 points back after five rounds. Well, there's a couple of things that could be going on there. This is just speculation, really, and, and that is my opinion. I think he puts a lot of pressure on himself to do well. He knows he can win. I think he knows that Honda expects him to now. He has the motorcycle and the experience and all the talent. And it, it makes him nervous. The other thing is, is if you look back over the seasons, he's, he's had a lot of injuries. And it could be that he's trying to just be smart, get through the season without an injury, and the pace just isn't quite fast enough. Putting his fist in the air has got to be a vote of confidence for Kevin Windham going into the main event. Interesting to see him trying different lines while having this big lead, David. Yeah, I don't think it'll bother him that much to have those guys close in on him a little bit here in this final lap, as long as he still gets the heat win. This is the kind of break he needed. I, just, I get the feeling at times that he really doesn't think he's as good as he is. And that happened to me in, in my career. I'd watch other riders and go, man, these guys look like they're flying. The heel clicker and the checkers for Kevin Windham. His third heat win of the season. Jeremy McGrath, a very credible second place. But obviously, in losing his first heat race of the year, we'll think uh, back in the pits, I got to step it up a notch. Well, he, he needs to stay off the ground, basically. I don't think he's worried about his pace because that, that last lap, he was two seconds faster than Wyndham. The lap before that, he was one second faster. And as far as I can tell, a 53 second lap time in that heat race is the fastest all night. Jeremy had it. Just got to keep it on two wheels. So it's Wyndham, McGrath, Carmichael, and Perry that make the main event with Michael Craig having to go on to the semifinal round. Let's run down to Davey now as that was the Honda results page. Well, Kevin, I know it's been a tough year so far, but you went out there, you rode smart, you rode smooth. It's got to be a big confidence builder going into the main event. Yeah, that, that qualifier was faster than the first one, but, uh, you know, I definitely had the pressure behind me. I felt McGrath there the uh, first couple laps, and... Uh, I guess he went down in one of the corners. We, you know, felt like we were going a pretty good pace, and uh, yeah, you know, hopefully tonight's the night. Hopefully, I can turn my season around. And uh, you know, it's been a little slow, a little rocky, and then I've had some good podiums. But uh, you know, I need that one little boost of uh, confidence and uh, a little spark of energy to get me over the top, and uh, hopefully, just ride the momentum through the rest of the series. Before the race, I was talking to one of your bosses, Jeff Stan, who's got six championships of his own, and he said that that's exactly what you need. You got to go out there and you got to beat McGrath. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know. And, to be honest with you, the way I've been riding, there's a lot more guys to worry about than just McGrath, you know. But, uh, you know, I know that I can do it. I set the fast times and stuff, and I'm right there competitive with the times. I just need to go out there in the main tonight and uh, know that I can do it, and uh, hopefully it happens. Good luck in the main, Kev. Thanks a lot. A painfully honest Kevin Windham as he goes back to the pits. 